Hello and welcome to another episode of the Veterans Corner. My name is Chuck Wooden. I'll be your host, joined by my co-host, Katrina Kat Zigwolf. Uh, Kat's filling in uh, for Donna. Donna's sick tonight and uh, we hope that she, uh, she recovers uh, quickly. Um, it's always a pleasure to, to, to have you here. Yeah, start um, back there, end up back here. And, and, and <laughs> how we usually, actually, Army veteran. Nine years, nine days, yeah. Nine, nine, nine years, nine days. Uh, thank you for your service. Back at you. Um, we, we, have, uh, we have Eric Frequent Schessel. Fire. I said it right. He got it right. For, for the viewers that, uh, that, that see me on a regular basis, I uh, start a new leaf tonight. I will not mess up another name from this point forward. <laughs> and Eric is no stranger to this show, and, and as uh, he knows, I have done that uh, a number of times when you were here. Uh, yeah, just, to, just, just a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I got it this time, though. You did. You nailed I, it. I, 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 I practiced. I practiced for just, the last week. We just cut it now. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we can go home now. We can go home now. That's just the first, first wrap. <laughs> well, you know, Eric, Eric it's, it's great to have you back. No, but it's, it's always a pleasure hanging out with you guys and being yeah. here on the show. I love being here. You know, this particular uh, taping, the, the, this, this show, is actually going to be something different than uh, although we may touch a little bit on what you're normally here for, but you started a new venture. Yeah. We did. Um, and we'll actually, we'll jump to that in a second. Yeah. I wanted to talk about what we did over the winter when we had our, uh, the snowstorms. Uh, I wanted to hit up. Yeah. yeah the right? snow angels. I yeah. saw that on there, a big fundraiser going on. Yes. So we, um, we kind of followed suit with some of the other hikes that were doing it uh, as fundraisers and ways of kind of just being together in their communities uh, to kind of just bring the community together. And so I was like, why don't we do that here? Brought it up with my with the team that we have, and, and they I were like, we let's do it. I don't think we mentioned your organization yet. So. Oh, we no, we didn't. We didn't, but we're okay. going to get to that. We're, we're circle get... back, so we're everybody <laughs> knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Eric's been here so many times, he just jumped forget. right into it. And, Irreverent and, warriors. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. So, back to you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So with, with the, uh, the Snow Angels was a, an opportunity for us as a leadership team and leaders uh, in, in the community in our regard with the Reverend Warriors to kind of do something a little fun, engage in our community, ag, be, be a little bit more visible, be seen, uh, be heard, uh, and, and kind of just, again, it's just to bring, bring the community together a little bit more. Uh, and so what we did was we listed uh, a bunch of people, asked uh, the group, the organization, hey, who wants to see people run around in the snow doing snow angels in their silkies? Uh, and <laughs> people were like, I want in on that. And so we put a poll out and people voted. And the top 10, we were like, let's go. So we had to wait for, we had to wait for the snow when the snow came and started to disappear. So it was kind of like, we got to yeah. get on these um, really quick. But they, we, we all did, we all did snow angels uh, and, and we, ra we raised some money. Uh, for you know the Silky Psyche year and everything, which is which is good, super important. But the the goal of it was not the the money or anything like that. That that's that's secondary. Mm -hmm. The the whole point of, of that was to bring a little humor, <laughs> a little bit more camaraderie to uh, the organization, to our people uh, throughout the winter months. Just kind of hopping on something and, and doing something good for for ourselves yeah. and having a little bit of fun. And for the viewers that uh, that missed the the shows prior to this. Uh, when he says silkies, just look at it as a polar plunge, because that's all they have on, is, is the silkies. <laughs> silkies are those little, it's like the 70s track shorts, yeah. if you will. So it's what they were issuing us, and there, there's the silky fabric, and so that's become the whole theme of this hike, is a whole bunch, like 200 people, just in silkies and boots, and it's, it's quite a spectacle. But, but if, 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 I, if I remember right by looking on the Facebook page, that's all you guys had on. Right. You're out there doing the snow angels. Yep, doing snow angels. Some of us had um, costumes on. Some of us had T-shirts on, hoodies. Some of us rolled down hills. Yeah. Some of us were in cowboy boots. It was it was a it was an irreverent mix. It was it, it was very fitting for for the for the group to see all the all the, the outfits uh, that people threw on for for that. It was, it was very endearing and and everybody had a lot of fun. So was that, was that down in Norwich area? No, we literally taped ourselves doing it wherever we were in okay. the state. So it was literally kind of statewide, okay. uh, depending on who the the person was that had to do it. So 
Wow. And, and if, for those following or would like to follow the, the warriors on Facebook, the irreverent warriors, is that shenanigans are kind of the theme. So it's, it's through humor and camaraderie that these guys get, bring veterans together and help keep us all on the upswing. So, and speaking of reaching out, the, you have a new way of reaching out to veterans. Yes, Please we do. Us. Yeah. So we took probably a good few months and decided that we, we wanted to reach the veteran community in a different way. And the way that we could do that is using popular medium. And, and so that was the, the podcast. Yeah. You know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of organizations, a lot of people just have, have podcasts and they talk about a lot of things. And I had talked with a few people uh, that have experience with podcasts and they all thought it was a great idea. Talked with the team, the team agreed, thought it was a great idea. And so we've, we've kind of started running with it. Um, the, the goal uh, of the, the podcast itself is really to, to, to interview people that have been on the Silky Sykes, whether they be active, uh, veteran, guard, reserve, or even right. civilian volunteers, right? Because they're, they're a big part of the success of our organization exactly. as a whole. Uh, without the, the people that support us, we, we don't have an organization. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so we, we always love the, um, the civilians, the, the, the volunteer, the non-veterans, um, family members, and spouses. But what, we, what we're trying to do is we do these interviews, we get these basically these testimonials of how Reverend Warriors has, has touched their lives in, mm. in, in positive ways. And the goal is that when people watch those interviews and they get to talk with some of these people, they'll, there's a lot of laughter, a lot of humor that goes on in these interviews, but it's also to give everybody that's watching that has been on the fence about going on a hike, they have, don't, they, they miss their battle buddies uh, or their, you know, their, their military families yeah. and being like, you know what, I need to get a little bit of that in yeah. my life. And that will hopefully urge them to come off their couches, come out of their homes and come hang out with us. And whether it's at the Silkies hike or any of the other events that, that we that we host and we, we put on throughout the year. And that's really the mission. That's the end game is to save more veteran lives is using a different uh, way of communicating. Reinforce that bond, bring that bond back. Yeah. Uh, yeah because... I, I was on the bubble with going to one and then I had reached out to you and you, while you were blasting out on media. So I kind of just says, you know, I'm grabbing this lifeline and, and, and talking to you. You ended up kind of being a wingman to a lot of people that day and, and ended up, I used him as a toe strap to yeah. get up some of the hills. I'm like, hey, I need, I need a lift. So, you know, but just knowing that those things are out there when you show up to this hike, it's really not so daunting. If you think you're going to have to hike this whole thing by yourself, it's not like that at all. Yeah. You, you, it's a bunch of people, you, your crew that you haven't met yet. Yeah. And that's usually held down in the Norwich area. No, so I, I do it right in my, my library. Um, I, I well, well, no, the, we, were, we were talking about oh, we the, the, the hike. The hike, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the, the hike is down in Norwich. Yep. Um, and it's, uh, it's going to be this year, September 21st. So it's the, the third Saturday uh, of September, and we try to do that each and every year. This uh, is 2024, so if you're watching on the pod, uh, the replay, <laughs> you want to know which year you're in? <laughs> yeah, 2024, September 21st, um, uh, that's Saturday. So that's when uh, that's when the hike is going to be for uh, for this year. Uh, so, yeah. It's important. I'm glad you picked up on it yeah. uh, because the, these shows are, are played over and over again. Yeah, we'll be out on uh, YouTube and we'll... Who knows when you'll pull it up on demand? Yeah, you, you, you don't want to. You don't. You don't want to show up uh, in 2025. <laughs> and, in your uh, full regalia uh, and silkies and everything. Third, like, third what is Saturday this of the month in, in in September. Where is everybody? Well, that's actually that's why we do it the third Saturday of the month, so they can listen to this episode in 2026, yep. and they'll still know <laughs> that. Guess what? The third Saturday in September. Guess what's See happening? It? So it's going it works. down. It works. Yeah, that works. So yeah. that's yeah. Hold you know, uh, Air Force veteran. Yes. Uh, when did you serve? Oh man, make me remember stuff. Um, I saw uh, 99 to 2006. Okay. So I was pre and, and post 9-11. All right. Yeah, it's a, I mean, we always usually start the show off that way. You know that. Yeah. But we just kind of. We jumped we're, right we're, into yeah, stuff. We're just, we're just off and running today. Uh, uh, and, and as we always do on the show, um, on behalf of the viewers, the folks here at the Veterans Corner, we want to thank you for your service. Well, thank you for uh, yours as well. You know, because I know you guys are both veterans yeah. as well. So we got the we got the trifecta yeah, here. We got, yeah, we got thank three you, three you. of us up there. Yeah, uh, four and uh, I think one in the uh, one in the hut. I think Scott's over there. Navy, <laughs> go Navy. Uh, I don't know about all that. 
well, you know, I had the only reason why I said that is because there are two of us, and uh, it's if, if I was by myself, I wouldn't have done that. Fair. <laughs> you know, that's that, that's something that that you know what, what we just did there is, you know, you promote uh, every day uh, humor uh, to the veteran community, and I, I see it on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, obviously, the objective is to to pick people up, and uh, um, I mean, we there's always banter, there's always back and forth. <laughs> we, we 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 talked about that in the last show. Yeah, we we have um, to filter ourselves because yeah. there's it's just built in. When we're amongst just veterans, it, it's you know we get we have to. It's pretty salty. Yeah. 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 So yeah. <laughs> um, when we're out in public, we've got to got to. Have, have adult supervision. Now, with your podcast, who's the audience? Who are some of the guests? Uh, is is the same crew running it, or who, what faces are we looking for? So the the faces, uh, I've reached out, and I, I have a list. So the, the way the, the structure of the show is we're going to do the, the interviews or do pre-recorded, uh, mm -hmm. and we'll air those once a month. And okay. so the, to kind of give a, a sort of a structure. So you'll have you'll see an interview that comes out uh, once so once a month where, where I'll have interviewed uh, somebody that that wanted to be on the show that's someone who's uh, impactful in the in the veteran community or uh, an organization um, uh, or, or a just somebody that uh, that has volunteered and then given their time and, and really has had a reverent warriors really kind of change their life mm -hmm. so we're that's kind of what we're lo uh, what we're looking for for people who have have a story that they want to share about our wars and things that they've that they've experienced through it and because it's it's being used as a, an encouragement tool to get people to come out who have yet to experience us i mean you've come out and and you're you're yeah. addicted now yeah um <laughs> yeah. you're you're one of the ones that's posting a lot on the on the group page with adding the the humor and stuff like that yes. so um having having the the people that come out and experience it and then get addicted like i like myself yeah uh, it's it's very uh, very important to uh, to have people share those stories. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so we'll have the the interviews are done uh, once a month or pre recorded once a month, and then the the plan the goal is to go out and do uh, kind of like live, um, and so we'll do live interviews out at Silky's Hikes. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do stuff, uh, set up little tables, maybe do a little in person interviews at uh, when we do events out in the, in the community, like if we were to do say like a sale fest or like a food truck festival yeah. or something like that, we'll end up have our booth or the regular Reverend Warriors booth. And then in the back, we'll kind of have um, the, the uh, a table set up for the podcast where we could pull somebody in and just nice. do an interview nice. uh, right there on the spot and do like a Facebook live kind of thing and, and promote it there. Yeah. So we'll have, there'll be a lot of things going on, but the, uh, the, I got to stress that, it's we're we're going to stay mission focused with it. You know the 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 goal is to to share stories of irreverent warriors yeah. uh, and, and their their impacts on people and make sure that that stuff is told so that we get more people out there so we can save more veterans' lives. That's the that's the end game. That's the perpetuate goal. the good. <laughs> yes, exactly. And now, how can people find the podcast? Okay, okay. so I don't even think I've said the, the name of the podcast at this point either. No, so no. kind of hard to find us if you don't know what, what the name is, it's, right? It's stealth mode. It's, so it, it is, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so the, the name of the podcast is Boots, Banter, and Beyond, Perfect. The Stories of Irreverent Warriors. Perfect. And you can find that. We're on Facebook. Uh, there's a YouTube channel. We have an Instagram. So we've got, we have all the, all the, the little social media things. So if you guys are looking to, looking to find us, that is where we can be found. And, and the boots and banter, that's for everyone. And the, the beyond, that's a little sketchy. No. Yeah, it, it kind of is. It's like it's like it's like the, the, the beyond section of Bed Bath and Beyond. Like you're looking at all the things and all of a sudden you go into the beyond section and you just don't know what the heck is going on over there. <laughs> Same thing with, with boots banter and beyond. It's uh, it's but, very but you much fall down that rabbit hole and you just hang yeah, on. And yeah. And so you know, we've had we've had a couple of tapings already and yeah, we, we go down some rabbit holes and we talk about some good stuff. But um but yeah, so we're we're all over social media. So all you gotta do is look up uh, boots banter and beyond. Looking and forward to it. We'll, we'll make sure that we uh, advertise, and plus, when this comes out on YouTube, um, yeah, blast it, blast yeah. it, <laughs> sure. And I, I, actually, it's a great opportunity for uh, for you to uh, to take this off of YouTube, this show, and, and and maybe air it or or put it on your website. Yeah. Um, how can one share? Uh, I, I, I was going to word this a little bit differently, but how can one share uh, the with some of the guests that uh, you've had on? Oh, can you share? That's why I, I think that's 
we always have end of the day, you know, uh, the, the, the brain cramps. Um, can you share? I, I think that's what I wanted to say. Some of the some of the guests that you've had on on the podcast sure. so far, yeah. I, I, even though it, it's it's in the beginning stages, yeah. Oh, throw us some highlights. So in, in the expectations. Abs- absolutely. So so well, the the first episode it took I, me a while to spit that out, but I okay. finally got it. You got it. At least you have to say my last name again. <laughs> you, you navigated that like any good. That would do me in. That would that would do me in. <laughs> it would it would be uh, it'd be over at that navigated point. Navigated like a true lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I personally did the first episode, uh, and that was to kind of give a, an intro. You know, yeah. that's the little bit Watch. of what I called the episode well, was was the intro, and it was it was just to let everybody know like what the podcast was supposed to be about, what we're what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, and that was it. It was like a quick little fifteen minute thing because nobody wants to listen to me talk forever. I I, <laughs> I have to hear it myself, right? So I got to keep it short and sweet. Um, and so the the first. Uh, guest that we have is uh, Brent Walker. Oh yeah. yeah. So everybody, everybody knows who Brent is. Everybody in the veteran community knows yeah. who Brent is. Um, very active in the veteran community. Uh, uh, he he's been doing the, the Silky Hikes for a very long time, also, uh, and uh, he's just a great uh, overall person. And so he was the he's the first interview. Uh, and I've got a few other ones lined up, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna relay those because I haven't done the tapings yet. So. Yeah. So we will uh, classified. Yeah, it's all be, classified information. Be a surprise. We don't have a need to know. It yet. could. Yes, exactly. Okay. It'll be. It'll be a surprise. But they are. You know, I can give you guys hints that the the next one is one of our sponsors for the Silky's hikes. Nice. Um, uh, they uh, they're big supporters, uh, and the rest are uh, leaders in, in other organizations uh, that have been supporters of our warriors and are also doing great things in the community. So Good. we're we're really trying to make sure that. We utilize the, the resources that we have in regards to having people <clears throat> that are in the community, active in the community, have experienced urban warriors and really want to mm-hmm. be a part of that. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's at least, what, 150, 200, I think the first one in Norwich was a couple hundred troops. It was substantial. So there's a lot to draw from. Exactly. And, and each person is having their own experience. So it's like, all right, what did it mean to you? Right. You know, what, how, what did it take for you to get there? How did you hear about it? How, how did you end up finally getting there, boots on ground, and then what happened once you got there? And that was yeah. a big deal for, for a lot of us veterans is just getting there. Yeah, <laughs> and and the the goal after after this year, starting it here here in Connecticut, and then taking it and interviewing people from other states, other cities, and yeah. stuff like that. This has a, this has great potential beyond just Connecticut. If we're able to reach more veterans throughout the country, because we have hikes in pretty much every Everywhere. state, yeah. all over globally, it's we have huge. hikes. Yeah, we have hikes in in uh, in Europe. Uh, Hawaii has a hike. Alaska is going to have a hike soon. So yeah. it's like so. Wow. There's there's veterans everywhere, and they all need to be. We need to reach them all, and and so being able to do these interviews and and have people come on from different areas of the country is going to be super impactful for for the veteran community yeah. all across the country. There are so many veterans out there that. Uh, Unfortunately, they're they're they've been <clears throat> out of reach. Yeah, and and this is a great way to bring them yeah. out of the shadows. Yeah. Well, and once you've done one, then you want to do five more. So, like I did the one in Norwich, and then two weeks later, I did the one in Worcester. And so you get your your tags and everything, and you walk around, you see who's been where, and you're like, oh, they've got one in Seattle. Oh, they got one in Puerto Rico. Oh, you went to Normandy. Oh, you did. There's one in Germany now. There's Hawaii. There's there. It's it's going viral, which is in the best way possible. Yeah. And so all of a sudden you're like, oh, let me click on that. Let me find that. And they start inviting everybody. And so all of a sudden you start seeing familiar faces. And so it's like, oh, these are my people. It's not like I don't know anybody, so I'm not going to go. It's like I, I know quite a few characters and you know, we'll, we'll be great. You know, and I'll meet 12 more. And that's and that's really the the beautiful thing about these hikes is, is that you go to one and and you are welcome to uh, open arms yeah. to, to everybody that's there. You yeah. you're if you go by yourself, you are going to have a good time. You're going to make friends and family. I yes. went to my first hike in 2019. Yes, I was solo. I hung out with the dames all day because <laughs> I didn't know anybody else. Yeah. I hung out with them for most of the day, but I made a lot more friends and I've been addicted ever since. Yeah. Well, in this one, they, the the Norwich one, they were handing out rubber chickens uh, that squeak. So to all the newbies, the first timers. So if you saw somebody with a rubber chicken, you're, you're supposed to go and engage and meet them and greet them and make them feel welcome. And it, it really worked great because it was so ridiculous. That yeah. It was fantastic. Yep. And, and for 
actually, I have to throw you a huge amount of props because the last dozen guests we've had on this show, I've booked from people I met at the Reverend Warriors March. So <laughs> literally doing exactly what you were trying to accomplish, we have check is in that box. So yeah. we're meeting networking with people. For we've good never, uh, just so the viewers know, I mean, I've, I've been doing this since 2013 and in all those years, I, I was the one getting the guests. Now, Kat has uh, graciously uh, stepped up to help. Uh, and yeah. by doing so, we're getting a lot of uh, organizations out on the eastern part of the state. Yeah, uh, where so, I'm from. So we're, so we're covering, <laughs> I mean, you know, we're covering the, uh, the entire state now. Yes, uh, yes. Prior to, to 2020, there was organizations everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, out this way, there was never a shortage of, of guests to be on the show. Now there is. Hmm. So so now now it's, you know, we're, we're, we're giving exposure to those out east um, and, and where, where it's rightfully, rightfully deserved. Yeah, because we had the hor two horse groups, one's on the western side, one's on yeah. the east of the river. And that, that's kind of a big thing because you... We, <laughs> I'm, I'm an hour away. You can't get there from here. Yeah. There's, there's three ways to get to my house, and none of them work from the side of the state. So, yeah. you know, to have all this say, oh, I've got this 20 minutes from my house. Didn't even know it was there. So it's it's going to help Thor over at the yeah. vets yeah. with the horses. I mean, and we, we've had a number, and, and I'm, I know we're going to continue to have a number of uh, folks from that side of the state. And, and, and what people don't realize, or maybe they do, is that uh, on YouTube, you, you, you may not know this, but this public access is the largest in the state. Yes. And it's seen statewide, uh, especially with one of the, uh, 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 used to be SNET, uh, Frontier. Mm. With yeah. Frontier TV, you, this could be seen statewide. And, and Xfinity. There's, if you Google it, yeah. they'll tell you which channels to, yeah. they, to they'll pop up uh, on. We, yeah. We've only got about three minutes left. Uh, what I'd like to do is, it touch touch on so, some of the events that you have on the horizon. Sure. So March 23rd, <clears throat> Saturday, we've got our first actual in-person donation drive. Uh, and that is 2024, by the way. Yes, 2024. 2024. <laughs> um, and that's uh, at the East Brooklyn Fire Department. Okay. So we'll be, we'll be there from 1 to 4. Uh, East Brooklyn Fire Department has been a staple for us for the donation drives in person for the past couple of years. Uh, they, they enjoy having us up there. So we will be we'll be there uh, collecting donations for the Silky's hike um, up on Route Six. Yeah, um, nice. so granola bars, Gatorades, waters, snacks, yeah. chips, peanuts, nuts, all that good stuff. Cracker Jacks. I don't know if that stuff still exists, but you know we'll take it. <laughs> um, uh, and so we'll be doing we we can doing that. Uh, then April sixth, uh, just uh, just got it confirmed today on my drive home. Actually, we are going to have a event in Berlin, Connecticut. Okay. Uh, we're going to be mm -hmm. doing the um, uh, vet takeover over at Coles, uh, Coles Road Brewing Company. Ooh, what is right? It? Okay. Yeah, Coles Road Brewing. You say uh, brewery and takeover. I'm in. Right. <laughs> However, before that, and this is the important part. Before that, we're doing a observance ceremony. Okay. For Gold Star Spouses Day, which mm. is April, oh. Friday, April fifth. But because Saturday is the sixth, so we're gonna do we're gonna do the ceremony on the sixth. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna have um, the the Berlin Veterans Commission is uh, okayed it. Uh, I went and I met with them. Yeah. Uh, then we talked with the, um, the the Gold Star Mothers of Connecticut organization. They're excited about it. So we've got all that. Uh, we're going to have that observance ceremony there. And then we're going to invite them to walk to Coles Road, which is like about a mile down the road. You know, a, um, a lot of the viewers may not know this, but the, uh, the, the monument is for Gold Star. Yeah, mm. uh, that's where we're having the ceremony. It's, it's, it's right okay. there Good. behind Stop and Shop in Berlin. Yep. And, and that's part of one of the things that they we always do with these marches and get-togethers is the somber side of things, give our respects and everything. And then then we build on their what they've done for us and move forward as a community. Well, yep. we got about 15 seconds left. Eric, oh, uh, as always, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to be here. <laughs> always it's, a pleasure. Keep up the great work. We, we, we look forward Glad to, to have having you come back uh, and, and giving us an update. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. We'll see you on the walk. You know it. <laughs> Are you, you're coming out this year. Every year I say I'm going to be out there, you but need to. it's, yeah. you know, from, from this side of the state, I, I mean, not being a. I will try. I know I'm giving excuses. It's, you know, to get out to Norwich. I, I would love to. I would love to. 
we got plenty of time to talk about it, and uh, we'll, we'll be in touch. But anyways, <laughs> we'll be and in on touch. that note. <laughs> on that note, I want to thank the viewers for watching the Veterans Corner. Good night, and see you next time. Hello, I'm Bill Meyer, Board Director for Nutmeg TV, your local public TV station. For over 30 years now, Nutmeg has brought countless local events, municipal meetings, and programs to our TV screens. To continue this important work, Nutmeg relies on the support of generous individuals like yourself. So we're reaching out today to ask for your monetary support. Together we can continue to amplify the voices and stories that make our community unique and vibrant. To make a donation, simply visit our website at nutmegtv.com or call the office at 860-321-7405 for assistance. I'm your host, Kurt Barwis. Today, I have a very special guest, Dr. Andrew Lynn. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Veterans Corner. My name is Chuck Wooden. Decision for ourselves for this week if we want to be made well. Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. It's Dawn Lombardi. I'm starting the painting. It's going to be the clips with some water. Love it. He took me on the sets of Lost in Space, Batman. Everybody has a story. What's yours? Until next time.